If you're struggling to figure out what you can buy a 6 to 12 month old baby, then this video is exactly what you need as I cover the must have toys for 6 to 12 months of age and tell you which toys you should definitely avoid buying at this age. So make sure you stick around to hear that. Hi, if it's your first time here, my name's Emma and this channel's all about helping you become an extremely confident parent for your baby by sharing with you the tips and tricks I've learned along the way practicing as a pediatric occupational therapist and being mum to two children. So if you want to make parenting significantly easier, make sure you start now by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you won't miss a thing. Now before we get into the must have toys from 6 to 12 months of age, I just want to let you know there's a free PDF document on developmental milestones in the description box below which covers what your baby should be achieving in their first year of life, which will give you an invaluable peace of mind because you'll know what your baby should be doing and when to be concerned. So make sure you click on that. So what toys do I like at 6 to 12 months of age? They're still going to really love these soft toys um, at 6 months of age when, and 7 months of age when they're kind of exploring toys. So I do like this brand the best um, and you can um, hang it on in the car or in the pram so they'll be able to play with it there. Now you're going to definitely want some teethers. I like Sophie the best because she's really lightweight, she's easy to clean and babies are actually able to put it in their mouth because of the small legs. So Sophie is great, otherwise you can get other teethers which are circular I would recommend because they're easier for your baby to hold or a baby to hold. Another great toy a baby's going to use in this age range is a trolley. I really like the wooden trolleys because I think that they're um, easier for the baby to use because you can put a weight in the front tray. So I generally put some rice in it but the baby's going to be able to, like a bag of rice, but the baby can use that. But there's other lots of um, trolley options out there which are good as well. But I do find these ones don't roll away on the bub. Another great toy at this age are rattles. I prefer this rattle the best because it's easy to hold and it's lightweight, but there's lots of different options out there. You can use one like this or like these. I prefer circular ones because they're easy for your baby to hold and manipulate. So rattles are amazing. A ring stacker is another great toy that you can get um, for a baby, particularly around nine months they're going to be interacting with this and pulling the rings off, we're not expecting them to put it on and then after 12 months they'll start to put them on in any order. But it's a toy that will grow with the baby. I also really enjoy um, the shape sorters, they're amazing. So I prefer shape sorters that you can remove the lid off because initially babies are just going to be dropping the toys into it and then as um, they get a bit older, so around 12 months they'll be able to put in a circle inside the shape sorter. So again it's another toy that will grow with the baby. Pop up toys are another great toy that you can get for your baby or a baby. So it has lots of different options but it, um, initially they'll be able to just kind of put the toy down and then as they get older they'll, start, they'll learn to turn the, um, the knobs and will push the buttons. So it's a great toy again that will grow with the bub. Board books are also another great toy that you can get at this age. They are really good for working on that pointer and that pincer grip when they're turning the pages. But there's also um, another option that you can get these um, books that actually sing songs. So as soon as you turn the page, I'm not going to do it now, um, it'll start singing a song. So babies really enjoy music and that's another great toy that they'll play with and for a long period of time. Another great toy at this age are activity stations. So this is a version of an activity station. There's lots of different varieties out there that are generally a bit more expensive. This is just a cheaper version that was like a big W or Kmart. So what's great about these is they have a shape sorter on the top um, and then they've got lots of buttons to push and flaps to um, move and it like makes music when the baby plays with these items. So if they push the button, it starts to make a noise. So again, it's kind of engaging for the baby and it'll keep them entertained for a long period of time. Another great toy at this age are string toys. So you want a toy that has a really long string when you're looking at string toys and that's because it's easier for them to pull it along when they're crawling or up walking if you've got an early walker. But again, often string toys make lots of noise and again, it's engaging for the bub. The other great thing about string toys is it works on their pincer grip, um, which is something you want well established by 12 months. 
Bath toys are also a great toy at this age. That's because at around six months when they're up sitting or a bit later, they're in the bath and this kind of keeps them engaged in the bath so that you can wash them. Um, but there's lots of different bath toys out there. There's ones that you can squeeze, which will work on that strength and that pincer grip, or there's ones that you can stick on the wall of the bath. Um, and again, it's kind of interacting for the baby. I also really like blocks at this age. Babies initially will start to bang the blocks together or bang them on the table. And then by um, 12 months, they're starting to stack them on one on top of just one on top of another one. But it's a really great toy that will grow with them and it works on their fine motor skills. So that precise release and also that pincer grip. If you've got a baby who's walking early and they're really stable on their feet, a water PlayStation is also a really great toy at that age when they're up standing and they're often on a raised legs and then the baby's able to interact with the water and play obviously with your supervision but it's a great toy for your baby and again something they're gonna like for a, a, like a few years so my four-year-old is still playing with her water PlayStation <laughs> The last toy I recommend at this age, particularly if the baby's around nine to 12 months of age, is um, inset puzzles with a knob on it. And that's because it works on their fine motor skills. So more specifically their pincer grip. And um, what we're wanting at this age is that they just remove the puzzle piece, not put it back in. But as they get older, again, it's something that they, we are expecting them to put the puzzle piece back in. But it's a great way to work on that pincer grip, which is often a really hard skill to get when you're looking at baby toys because they're often really big. So there's three toys I would definitely avoid buying a six to 12 month old baby. And that's because these three toys have been linked with increased safety concerns for your baby when they're using that toy and also it increases their risk of developmental delays because they're essentially not working on the skills that we would be wanting at their at that age because they're in a supported um, piece of equipment. So the first toy that I would definitely avoid is a baby jumper or a jolly jumper. If you want more information on this item, check out my video. The other thing, the other toy I would avoid is an activity PlayStation and where your baby's seated in like a kind of a slung seat and there's items all around them that they play with. So they're in a semi-standing position. And then the third toy I would avoid is a baby walker. So essentially the babies are using this before they're ready to walk and it's not giving them any kind of skill development. And it also places them at risk of potentially um, accessing items they wouldn't necessarily have access to because they aren't yet up in that position or places them at risk of falling over or falling down a flight of stairs. So those are the three toys I would definitely avoid buying at all cost at this age. So that's it, you now know the must have toys for six to 12 months of age. Remember to check out that PDF document in the description box below on developmental milestones. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks.